the way we test products before they were formally produced is to create prototypes. The prototypes can be in different fidelity or various levels of refinement, depending on what we're trying to test for. So if we're trying to test the size, how it fits, for example, on a countertop, we may just print a model without any details. But if we're trying to test aesthetics on the shelf, then we might make it look like prototype. Or if we're trying to test usability and functionality, we might make a looks like and works like prototype to see if the user can use the product as design intended to and complete a task that the product intends to do. To perform the test, we sometimes do it ourselves as industrial designers, or we may work with groups of researchers or sometimes even external consultant who help us recruit the target users. And then we would facilitate the questions. We do use um, an external facility, so it would have a two-way mirror where researchers and designers can be behind glass and you kind of notice the unspoken um, behaviors and interactions with the product then that you can use to refine your product. Sometimes we also do quick and dirty research just within the office, and for that, we would seek out um, employees who are not in product development, so they have no bias, and then we also ask them to perform certain tasks and see if they are doing it intuitively that matches our design intent.